Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video we'll talk about one of the main problems that you may have with Windows updates. So if you are trying to update your PC and you suddenly see this message, your device is missing important security and quality fixes and actually you cannot install those updates, then you have to take some extra steps to fix this kind of errors with your Windows update. All right, the first thing that you have to actually try I know sometimes it may not work, but it's worth to try, is to troubleshoot. So basically we just use a troubleshooting tool that is provided from Microsoft. We will use different methods on this video to fix this issue, but let's start right away with the first one to troubleshoot by using the Microsoft tool. So basically we just have to search troubleshoot on search and then we will come on this page and from here you just have to click over additional troubleshooters and then over here you have to select Windows Update and then run the troubleshooter. And in this way you will detect all the problems that are related with Windows Update. It may take some time to troubleshoot it, around 5 minutes or something like that depending on the problem that you may have on your PC. Pending system changes that require reboot has been detected. We click over next. It will ask me to restart resolving problems, etc. Et so basically here, you just have to press next, next, next. And hopefully we'll resolve this problem with the Windows update. The next thing that you have to make sure that it's okay and it's running is the, actually the service of Windows update. So we have to search here at the start services and you click on it and once you see the system for the services and now over here you have to search for windows update service we just go right away windows update windows update and it's right here we click with the right of the mouse over it and then we choose properties and the startup type should be always this one here and if it's not running you have to start this service in order to be able to install updates what you can try is to stop this service and then you start it again just to see if this will have some effects on the updates that are not running on your pc once you do all this you just click over apply and then ok so important here is to make sure that the startup type here is not disabled and it's choose this one and then we click over apply ok and that's it so this is the second method that you have to try in order to fix this problem another successful method how to fix this problem is to download the update assistant and to update your computer in this way to the latest version. I'll put the link on the description below so you can come directly on this page where you can download the update assistant. So once you are here, you just click over update now and now it will download on my PC this setup file, which is just 3.2 megabyte Windows update assistant. So here it is. So basically it checked for the latest version of Windows 10 and actually in my case it's already installed the latest version of Windows 10. We close it and please give it a try. I'm pretty sure that this will help you to update your PC to the latest version of Windows 10 and installing those updates that you are missing on your PC. The next thing that it's worth to try is to reset the Windows Update components. And for that, you have to open CMD as administrator and you have to run those commands here. I'll put those commands on the description below so you can run them right away by just copying and paste. So we go at search and we just type here CMD and then you click with the right of the mouse and you run it as administrator. And over there, you have to write those commands which will reset or restart the components that are related with Windows Update. Here it is now, it's running all those commands. You just have to press enter whenever it's stuck and then practically all those commands are now applied. All right, so the next thing and the last thing that it could be worth it to download and to try is by using this program, which is on this website and it have been many times successful to reset Windows Update and to fix those kind of issues with Windows Updates. You just press over download and then it will download on your PC and then you have to run it. So this is the executable file which you can run. You just click with the right of the mouse over there and then you choose run as administrator. And now you have to follow up all these steps here. I'm going to choose the language English. Just going to choose the basic thing that we wanted is just to press 
an option two, which is reset the Windows Update components, and this will reset all the components. It's just the last resort because normally we don't have to do it as long as we apply those commands on CMD that we just did it together right now. But in case that it still is not working, this application could be worth it to try. So basically those are the methods that you have to try in order to fix this problem. If all this method will not help you, then probably you will just need to reset your Windows computer because probably there are some files which have been corrupted, which are blocking you to install those updates. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.